Hi, I'm Ryan Canup, Executive Chef of Social Brew in Turin, and I'm excited to announce the grand opening of Social Brew on Tuesday, November the 24th. I'm excited for you to come experience all we have to offer. And to tell you a little bit about Social Brew is our new executive sous chef, Tom Griffin, and Stacy Bowens. Stacy's been here for a little over three years and she just got promoted to our lead server. Thanks, Ryan. The Social Brew is a wonderful place for residents and team members to gather in a casual setting. In the morning, we'll be offering freshly brewed coffee, cappuccinos, Americanos, espresso, freshly made smoothies, and assorted teas. Your amazing culinary team will be offering up freshly prepared menu offerings such as breakfast sandwiches on house-made sourdough, breakfast bowls like a healthy quinoa bowl made with the blueberries, bananas, toasted almonds, and coconut milk. A nice fall chorizo bowl. They'll have the roasted sweet potatoes, fried egg, crispy chorizo sausage, black beans, zucchini, and avocado. To share with you a little more about our dinner options, here's our executive sous chef for the Social Brew in Turin, Tom Griffin. Tom, take it away. <laughs> Thanks, Stacy. In the evening, the Social Brew will transform into a more intimate setting where you can pair your favorite beer, wine, or non-alcoholic beverage with our carefully curated made-to-order tapas menu. Menu items such as blackened shrimp and grits, Appalachian hummus made with boiled peanuts, a warm house-made pimento cheese grilled cheese with thick-cut bacon, and a few more surprises can all be paired with our dessert shots like a chocolate espresso fudge bites or an Appalachian apple spice cake shot. I look forward to meeting everyone soon and I really appreciate being a part of the Gibbons Estate Culinary Team. Thanks so much, Tom and Stacey. And please watch your gazette in the coming weeks for the release of the social brew menu and the soft opening dates, which each resident will be personally invited to. And we're gonna start with the residents of Oxford Commons because they're the ones that had to endure all of the renovation activities. Thank you so much and we look forward to serving you.